We've been discussing hadith as a topic and over the last uh, few weeks I've been going through uh, different categories or different kinds of uh, hadith. And uh, as I mentioned to you, Muhaddasin or scholars of hadith have divided hadith into some 62 different parts. Different, different types. Um, just the Sahih Hadith, they say there are, it can be divided into 48 uh, different uh, kinds, depending on which conditions of Hadith they fulfill and which they don't. One of the important uh, types of Hadith is what's called Matwatar. And I mention this because uh, some of the ahadiths that we mention in support of uh, the interpretation of Islam uh, that we put forward are regarded as uh, matwatar. Uh, and also because there was a great debate and discussion in South Africa during the second uh, case that uh, uh, we went for about what was a matwatar hadith and uh, what wasn't. Basically, you can say a Matwatar Hadith is uh, a Hadith where a large number of companions of the Holy Prophet said that the Holy Prophet Muhammad said this. Although getting to the Muhaddis, there might be some weakness or some link missing. But because a large number, it's attributed to a large number of the companions, then it is said that uh, that is a Matwatar Hadith. And then, subsequently, a large number of those who came after Babayim is reported by them as well. So although later on there might be some technical defect in that, uh, but because uh, of the numbers involved, it is said that uh, that, that Hadith cannot be wrong. An example is, sorry, uh, 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 the Holy Prophet Muhammad said that anyone who attributed a statement to me that uh, <coughs> God forbid I have ever lied, his abode is forever hell. Now, although technical weaknesses in uh, the various ways in that hadith that comes to us, but they, if you trace it back, there are 200 companions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad who related this, who said that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said this. So from that we conclude, well, as it, it can be traced back to such a large number, it must be uh, true. Now Matwatar can then be subdivided into a number of subcategories. One of them is uh, how shall I call it? Matwatar lafzi, which means that uh, it's a uh, matwatar hadith, but the exact words can be traced back through different companions to the Holy Prophet. These are the exact words that the, the Holy Prophet uh, spoke. Uh, I'm trying to think of an example uh, at the moment. Um, <coughs> but I can't. So I'll move on to the next type, which is Matwatar Mani. What that means, or Manubi. What that means is that uh, although the exact words can't be attributed to the, uh, to the uh, traced back to the Holy Prophet Muhammad, but the interpretation of what it means or what he said can be traced back. Um, although there could be different interpretations of uh, what he said. An example of that is, uh, it is said, uh, but the Holy Prophet Muhammad, for example, said that if you're performing the wuzu, 
then it's permissible if you pass uh, your wet hand over your socks. Now, this is traced back to uh, the Holy Prophet but then there's a great debate about what do socks mean. Because at the time of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, what were regarded as socks were made of leather. They weren't made of nylon and, and, and wool and cotton and all these things that came uh, later on. So there's this great debate, is it restricted to socks made of leather or if you've got, you know, Marks and Spencer version of the, the socks, whether you can pass your wet hand over, the, uh, over your socks and that'll uh, do the, uh, uh, the job. The job. <coughs> Another type of Madhwatar uh, Hadith is what might, might be called um, the common factor Hadith. Those of you who know mathematics, it's, it's exactly the same as maths. And that is you have a number of things and there is something that belongs to all of them. You know, take out a common factor from 7 and 14 so there is 7, which is found in 7, and which is found in 14, and which is found in 21. So 7 is the common factor. So what that means is that all the words can't be traced back to the Holy Prophet Muhammad, but there is a part of the Hadith, a small part or a large part, that can be exactly traced back to the Holy Prophet uh, Muhammad. So, um, uh, I mean, the example of that is, uh, uh, at what time should we pray? So if you look at the different ahadis, which say, give the time of different prayers, Fajr and Zohar and Nasr and so on, the exact words are not the same, but the interpretation would be exactly the same. This is why all Muslims pray uh, at about the same time for Fajr and Zohar and Nasr and, and so on and so forth. Because despite the, the difference, uh, the instruction is, uh, is the same. Another type of Madhwatar Hadith is uh, Tawatar of uh, Tabka, and that is uh, the consensus of a group of people. And uh, that group of people generally is people of Medina. Because when the Holy Prophet said something or did something, he spent a lot, lot of his life in Medina and they were the best witnesses of what he said there or did. There are two examples of this uh, that I will give you. One is uh, how much fitrana to give uh, for uh, Eid at the end of uh, 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 Ramadan. <coughs> and the Holy Prophet said, uh, I think the word is uh, sa, half a sa. Now Imam Yusuf, who, who was in Medina, people went to him and he said, well, you know, you have this mayor, half of him. And then he went to uh, Medina, Imam Yusuf was in uh, Kufa. Then he went to Medina and he said to Imam, uh, he was talking to Imam Malik and he mentioned this. And Imam Malik said, yes, that's correct. But what is that mayor? So the following day, they asked the, uh, the merchants, the shopkeepers of Medina, to bring their measures with which they measured weed or flour that they, uh, they gave out. And they said, where did you get this from? And the man said, from my father. Where did your father get this from? He said, from my grandfather. He said, at what time did your grandfather live? Well, he lived at the time of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa when the next one came and they asked the same question. Next one came, they asked the same uh, question. Uh, and then they said, well, there's a difference between the major in Kufa and in Medina. Holy Prophet was in Medina when he said, give half of this major. So that is what we accept the major in Medina. Uh, many, many years later, all these things were standardized. In, in, in size as well, for exactly the same reason that these problems uh, occurred about when you say half, half of what, uh, and the scientists uh, had uh, difficulty 